when I got the opportunity though to battle storm, like it was, it was kind of a no brainer. You know what I'm saying for me. And then because I'm in a good bag right now, writing, I didn't want to take too much time off and fall back into, you know what I'm saying, ways that I know, that I know I can fall into. And I knew I couldn't do it for him. I know I couldn't come up there and bullshit. So it was like, you know what? While I'm in this bag, let me take, let me take a dangerous nigga. Right. 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 Stone, when you when y'all are when y'all are pioneers in this shit, legends in this shit, like a, a loss to me is not gonna make a break, you know, what you guys have done. So how do y'all get up for a battle like this? Or any type of battle at this point when you know it's not gonna make or break your legacy? How do y'all get up outside of the bag or just the level of respect for your eye? Well, I mean, in a, in a sense, you're right, because uh, we both got a real decent resume of heads. But uh, for me, it's easier because Marv's relevance in that, just in last year alone, Marv's relevance career-wise would have made it a no-brainer. But just in last year alone, that's he's the most dangerous guy out of that tournament, hands down. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was ridiculous, uh, the shit that he was pulling off. So I already knew... And that's my type of thing, though. I like to battle people when they're at their best. I want them to bring the best out of me and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I've never taken a battle because I thought it was easy. Mm -hmm. I've definitely taken some for the bag, obviously. You'll see Joe Schmo's name in there. But when it comes to somebody like Marv, it ain't nothing easy about it. And then the dude's legacy speaks for itself in every facet, you know, music and battle rap. So it was, it wasn't even a, not even a wink of an eye. Like they had mentioned, Another name, but when, right when they said Marv, I was like, oh, why did you even mention the first name? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know what it is? Like, for all the shit that we talk, and even though it's not necessarily about a win or a loss, you don't want to be, you don't want to be in the same spot because we always be in all the same spots. We always going to end up in a city somewhere. Okay. And you never, never want to be on the losing end of that conversation. Like, ah. <laughs> you know, I got you. Remember when I, remember when I 30 yeah. <laughs> Even though off cam it still hurt the same. It don't yeah. <laughs> uh, so bragging rights never die. You know they're gonna throw some slide in there. Bragging rights. Look, I've lost some battles to some niggas who have went who've gone on and they records were one in fifty-four, but I'm the one. <laughs> so they Oh, I got you though. I'm mean, like you whole ass nigga. Like you ain't getting nobody else though. No. And you know, that's the thing too, because that's definitely happened to me, but it's because it depends on how you approach it. Had you went 100 like you know you could, it would have never happened. But yeah, you know, sure. that's why it, it, this ain't never going to be that situation because I already know what Marv on and, and I could never show up to a Marv battle no matter what the case was with anything less than my best. Just because, like I said, I've been watching homie since before he even knew I existed. You know, to my nigga Seven Mitchell because he was saying. He was saying that the nigga, hey, shout, hey, check out the Briz motherfucking Rothstein biography. That shit fire. He did that shit. That. Shit fire. And first and foremost, shout out to Seven Mitchell. Real talk, Seven Mitchell is probably one of the only ones that's like valid on female battle. The only bloggers that actually.